website e-learning portal. When you open the Rusangu University website, this is how our Rusangu University website looks like. So now, after all these options, we have the portal which you are very conversant with student management system where usually you go into where you log into and see your grades you, you do your registration you do all your financial transactions and all these things you view from this menu so now the below is the one which will allow you to enter into your e-learning portal just click here you will be loaded with this space so you see Rusang University e-learning portal and this is how uh, our information is and if you look at the top right corner you see login you see here where i'm holding my cursor okay login just click login here you are already given a password and username uh, the username and the password that you use to enter into your student management system the same username and password same credentials can be used to log into so here i'm entering into my portal to see here is my username and the password and if you are using the same computer uh, that is your pc you can even uh, click on remember username you no need to enter again and again which is very safe if it is your own personal computer good then when you log in here and you are entering into your e-learning portal so once you are here you will see all the courses that you logged in uh, that you have registered for so course one course two if you have some other courses course three course four and course five as long as you have registered for those courses you are going to see those courses on your portal just like this now what to do with these courses uh, if you have registered four courses and you come to Rusangu university campus this is how your teachers will be and your classes classrooms will be just in the same way you can just enter into one class and this is how your class look like you got all the course materials, course assignments, topics. It is just more conversant than having a face-to-face -face classroom. So now here, you come to your class. Here the description is given to you. The course outline is here. The course objectives are here. And the textbooks are here. All the course-related material content is just here. Your job is to click them, read them, and get acquainted with the course content and go deeper into the course. Now, once you're acquainted with this course, you're done with your introductory part of the course, what is there, what is expected, all these things your instructor might have given complete information here. Then your job is, after acquainting this one, the next one is to go to lesson one. Just begin your journey, lesson one. When you click on lesson one, all the content that is related to lesson one, the activities that you have to do for the lesson one are given detailed um, information here. Phase one, assignment one, if there are some other forums, some activities, all those things your teacher might have given, your job is just to click on the assignment. So when you click on the assignment, here the description comes, what that assignment is, when is the deadline, how to do it, what to do it, how not to do it, everything about how your class, regular teacher gives you the assignment in class the same way. So now your job is to go back to your resources, go back to your dashboard, go to classroom, read all these resources again, the textbooks which are mentioned that are required to complete that assignment and do that one. I hope you are you're following. The next one, after completing lesson one, come to lesson two. Again, lesson two, the information is given to you. What are the activities to be done? What are the reading materials to be read? And what are the other classroom participation activities are you know, uh, detailedly given to you? Your job is to just follow the instructions and submit your uh, work time to time. Suppose you are stuck. You have some doubt. You don't know what to do with that assignment. Nothing to worry. Just here, come here up to the messages. Are you seeing here the message sign? With one, just click here. And once you click on this one, 
your teacher name will appear here and your friends your class members all the members names are going to appear here so click your teacher's name and write what the hey teacher i have some problem here i did not understand clearly can you help me can you explain can you expand it then immediately your teacher will be notified through an email and your teacher will help you if you wanted to meet any any of the class members again click here all your friends names will appear here whoever is doing that course so you can click on that particular person's name and say here i wrote hey how are you good morning good morning sir how you, how is the training ah uh, you want you want to write something you can just come, go to write message write that message and your friend will see wherever he or she is i hope you're following okay and as you are doing it is not that you have to complete one course and you have to come uh, come to the next no simultaneously how fast time 15 minutes you do with this course and again you come to next course to do your work okay next course appears like my teacher put the information like this da da da, da assignments this 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 so wherever i wanted to go i can just click there and i can do what i wanted to do okay so this is how your e learning journey will be so i hope uh, this lesson helped you if you have any question please can get in touch with the ict department or the e learning directorate we are here to help you 24/7 you can just write us email or whatsapp send a text message or just call us no problem we will be glad to help you in any way that we can for your the success of your academic journey thank you bye